Hey everyone, I know you're probably expecting another neurodivergent video, but I think I want to do them spaced out. So one day I'll do the neurodivergent video, then the next day I'm going to do a different video. And besides, this month is the it's my finale, and I have a few videos out to like coincide with that. So <laughs> there's going to be a big gap between them anyway. But still, I thought I would start. So today we're going to be talking about the Owl House and Gravity Falls and all the connections that I've noticed between them. Now, if you don't know what these two shows are, they're both Disney shows, both the best Disney shows, don't get me. Um, one of them is about the Pines twins, Dipper and Mabel, but Dipper's not his real name, and they go to their Grunkle Stan's uh, house, which he sells, he calls it the Mystery Shack, and he sells weird things there, and weird things happen in Gravity Falls. And I'm not going to spoil any of the ending, because he, if you haven't seen it, you need to watch it for yourself, because, yeah. <laughs> and then the Owl House is about Luz, who wants to be a witch, but well, everyone thinks she's weird. She has ADHD, by the way, so still relevant. Um, and then she gets sent to the Boiling Isles, which is a world of witches, and she starts training with this witch called Ida and her magical demon king. <laughs> and also Hootie, but, you know. And both shows have gay themes in them, obviously. <laughs> but anyway, now, I don't think that, I don't know if the shows actually take place in the same, like, world or not. That's, I don't know if that's really been confirmed or not, but, like, I've still found so many connections, and I like the headcanon that they do. Yeah, I do. So, yeah, well, today we're going to be talking about all the connections between them, which I already said, but who cares. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, the first one, that isn't actually in the shows, but it's in the uh, Gravity Falls comics. And in the background of one of the scenes, I will show pictures. You can see Ida's wanted poster in the background, which was meant to be a hint to the Owl House, more to be fair, but definitely shows that, like, you know, she's been in the world of Gravity Falls, if the comic is even canon, because I'm pretty sure it's not, but then, like, the ending is? I, I don't know. But yeah, that that is, like, you know, a thing. He does want a poster appears in the world of Gravity Falls. So this one is actually my favorite one, to be honest. The fact that Ida is very clearly Stan's ex-wife. Um, so, in one of the commentaries for an episode, Stan talks about his ex-wife, um, they were only married for a day in Vegas, and, <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, Sam's description is that she had pale skin and wild hair, that already fits Ida, and she had one sharp tooth, that also fits Ida, Ida has one sharp tooth, um, he said that her name was Marilyn, and that is actually Ida's human name when she goes to the human realm to pick up things to sell in the witch world, yeah, that is real, so her, the, the names are the same, and apparently he said that she has a shirt that said over 30 and flirty, and Ida has a shirt that says exactly that on it, so yeah. Um, and then I think he said that she, like, stole all of his money and went for a door, and she, he never saw her again, which, you know, Ida has a magic door that she walks through, that's how she gets in and out the human realm and the demon realm, so yeah, 100%, Ida was married to Stan, no one can change my mind, that is canon, I do not care, alright? <laughs> okay, this one's kind of a funny one, so, obviously they're not the same person, because it's kind of clearly obvious, but... King and Bill are both voiced by Alex Hirsch. He, uh, to be fair, he voices most of the male characters in Gravity Falls, but that's besides the point. He uses the exact same tone and voice for both characters, so there's the connection there. Now, originally when season one, I had just finished that, I thought that it was going to be that King was Bill reincarnated, and I had a lot of evidence to that. I'm going to quickly talk about that, because first, you know, the same voice, then the fact that King wants to be the King of Demons, and that's basically what Bill was. And then the fact that Bill had a human throne, and King says he w always wanted a human chair in one episode. And I think there were other connections, I don't remember, but those are the three main ones that I thought of. But obviously that wasn't true, which, to be fair, I'm kind of glad about. But the connection that they still have the same voice, and the fact that they both have interdimensional powers. Because, you know, the because the King's a Titan, and the Titan's blood can help you make portals b between different worlds. And then Bill can teleport between the two worlds as well, so yeah. They still have a connection in some way, but not the same person. So, not a film theory. Alright, this one's more of an easter egg, but definitely a reference. So, I don't know, I don't really want to spoil it, but... Okay, the villain of the of the Owl House, not really a villain, an antagonist, okay, turns some characters into puppets, okay? And on when Hootie turns into a puppet, you can see Dipper and Mabel's symbols on him. The shooting star and the pine tree. Those are Mabel and Dipper symbols, like, that's a whole big thing in Gravity Falls, but... Yeah, that, I think that's really cool. Definitely a reference. That has to be a reference. My friend actually pointed this one out. I feel like if I didn't mention that, they would say something, but, you know, there you go. <laughs> but, yeah, I really do like that. That's really cool. Like, I'm glad that you did a reference like that. 
There's no doubt it's a reference. Okay, I haven't actually seen this, but it was on Reddit, so I assume it's true. There is a mural of Bill in the owl in an episode of the Owl House. So obviously he's been to the Boiling Isles. He's not from the Boiling Isles. He's from the second dimension, you know, two D. But I, I know it's two D to us anyway. But in their world, it's all three D. Just say. But yeah. He, he made, so that's kind of a cameo, really. He makes cameos in several cartoons because Bill is everywhere. You know, always watch out for Bill Cipher. He's always watching. But, yeah, I think mean, that's really cool that they made it, that whoever, like, you know, the ancient witches were, they made a mural to Bill because obviously he visited and he was more powerful than all of them. So, yeah, maybe he was the same species as the Collector. Hmm. All right, I thought I would mention this one. It's not the same hat, but there's a similar hat to Dipper's hat in he does merch, okay? Instead of a, a pine tree, though, it's a bell, which is why people got confused with Dipper's hat. So it's not like a direct reference, but it is kind of similar. And Stan sells those hats in his, in his um, merchandise shop anyway, so yeah. Also, that's another connection as well, actually. The fact that Stan and Edar are basically the same person, just male and female. <laughs> they, maybe they were soulmates. Nah, Edar deserves to be a brain. I forgot to mention this. Um, I, I just know I said I was editing, thankfully, but I forgot to mention this. Um, in one of the pages of the um, official uh, Gravity Falls, what's it called, journal, you can see that someone wrote the Boiling Isles on a page, like just full on Boiling Isles. And then on another page in the comics, you can see Ida's staff, which obviously a direct reference. So yeah, I forgot to mention those two. I'm sorry, it's just that I saw, while I was editing, I saw that I had those pictures from ages ago. So yeah, I'm just going to slide this right in before the end, just so it still makes sense. But there you go. <laughs> sorry about that. All right, my last point, uh, although to be fair, I kind of get this one. They have similar theme songs. Obviously, I can't play the theme songs, obviously, but yeah, they are quite similar. But to be fair, they are both Disney shows and they both had the kind of same people working on them. So yeah, that does make sense that they would have the same theme songs. I've said theme song too much now, but I just wanted to quickly mention that one. It's not a direct reference, but it's something. Okay, well, that was most of the connections I've seen between the Owl House and Gravity Falls. There's probably more, but let me know if you know any of them, because I would like to find more. And don't worry, um, I will be back soon, but my next video is obviously going to be my finale to Pokemon Squad, and I'm really excited. I hope you all like it. And then the next three videos are just videos coinciding with that. Because I recorded a behind the scenes, I recorded that ages ago. My hair is shorter and there's barely anything on this wall, so it's so funny. So don't worry, you didn't time travel, I didn't time travel. Well, I mean, technically you did, but <laughs> not in the same way. And then the video after that is uh, the voice actors of, of the show, like all of the episodes, all the, most of the voice cast, you'll get to see what they look like. Not all of them, but most of them. And then the last video after that is going to be uh, the first and last line spoken by every character in this show. Well, not every character, most of them. Because some of them I kind of didn't put in, and then there's some of them that I'm like, you know, I'm not giving you any more screen time because I don't like you anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, anyway, let me know, you know, if you have found any other connections between Gravity Falls and the Yellow House in the comments down below. And please like and subscribe. And I'm BB, and I'll see you next time. Bye!